here is Bob Hope. Isn't this a dandy little group? Thank you very much. Say, there's a new safety campaign to make drivers as courteous on the road as they are in their own homes, and they're even giving out windshield stickers that say, Make courtesy your code of the road. Of course, even with these stickers, my next-door neighbor had an accident. He had so many stickers on his windshield, he couldn't see where he was going. (laughs) We waited as long as we could. But I think drivers are becoming more courteous. Last week, I saw a three-way collision between a coffee truck, a meat truck, and a bread wagon. Instead of fighting, the drivers pulled over to the side and made coffee and sandwiches. That's it. Now, if you've ever been hit by a car while crossing the street, this new campaign will benefit you. Drivers are now signing promises not to hit the same pedestrian twice. And they're asking you to please use hand signals, but have you ever noticed the hand signals women use? They're like a movie trailer. They arouse your interest without giving away the plot. Small audience, but very interesting. <laughs> now, Jane Russell doesn't always use hand signals. I saw her driving one of those low-slung English cars, and just before she made a left turn, she put her leg out. It was the first time I ever saw a car being followed by a traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a pedestrian in California, you do get one break. You can always spot a careless driver by the letter on his license plate. For instance, the letter A means a slow driver, B is a cautious driver, C is a fast driver. And then there's triple Z. That's look, Ma, no hand. <laughs> I'll never forget when I got my first driver's license here. The examiner said, do you always stop for a red light? Do you always obey the speed limit? And do you always give the proper hand signals? I said, yes, sir. He said, shake, stranger, and welcome to California. <laughs> but we do have some very careful drivers out here. Take Jack Benny. He drives very slowly, but that's just to save gas. In fact, he doesn't really drive his car. Rochester walks ahead of him with a magnet. <laughs> The safety is really important when you remember the old saying that it takes 2,000 nuts to hold a car together and only one to scatter it all over the road. <laughs> so let's take on the advice of the professional truck drivers. Practice courtesy and cut down your speed. And you may save your own life. And besides, I need all the listeners I have. Thank you. <laughs> California is made up of small communities where the people are all neighbors. And like everyone else, Bob has them. Now, one of Bob's neighbors is Richard Widmark. And a few days ago, Bob went over to his house to ask him to appear on our show. Today. Gee, this place looks very impressive from out here in front. Signs of danger, electric gate, do not touch, 5,000 volts. I know how to get through those electric gates. I'll just lift the latch with this wooden pencil. Oh, well, my coat looks more casual without sleeves. Say, please, me up and get for you. Good, it's the gardener. Oh, thank you. Also, gee, your shrubbery looks nice, and that hedge running around the side must be the tallest in North Hollywood. Must be nine or ten feet high. Oh, yes, sir, you bet. Very tall. Also, very thick, you bet you. Say, what? <laughs> Say, uh, why did you let it get so tall and thick? To keep out stray cats and dogs? Yes, sir. Also, keep out somebody next door named Mr. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hope, now, why would the Widmarks want to keep him out? Oh, the many reasons. <laughs> when Mr. Widmark building house... Mr. Hope, come over night time. Steal many bundle shingles. <laughs> oh, now, maybe one or two shingles, but I'm sure he didn't take very many. Oh, no? Take a look on top, Mr. Wheatmark's house. <laughs> one half a top in redwood. And look what they have to use to finish other half. Gee, surplus army blanket. <laughs> I wondered why the whole second story flapped on windy nights. <laughs> Well, I've wasted enough time standing here. i better go up and knock on the door. Yes? Say, I'm your neighbor. 
favor, Bob Hope, I just thought I'd drop over and say hello. Hello. No, no, open up. Boy, hey. Hey, hey. Let me in. I want to talk to you. What do you want? Could I come in, please? Well, I guess so. The servants have all been vaccinated. <laughs> Look, I don't know why you're taking this attitude. I'd feel a whole lot friendlier toward you if you were a better neighbor. Since I've lived next door to you, a lot of things have turned up missing around here. Are you insinuating that I took them? Well, all I know is that last year, most of the fruit on my trees disappeared. Yeah, well, the birds around here eat a lot of fruit. Yeah, I know. And according to my wife, you've got the biggest beak in the flock. <laughs> Now you listen to me. <laughs> I've got a few complaints against you. Oh, yeah? For instance. <laughs> well, for one thing, during the last storm, the rain came right through my roof and leaked into the living room. All right, what about it? Why do you buy such cheap shingles? <laughs> and, buddy, I got something else in my mind. When I moved in here, I knew you had a right-of-way across the back of my property. Anyone else would have forgotten about it, but not you. Well, I was entitled to that piece of land, so I'm using it. Yeah, but what can you do with a patio 75 feet long and one foot wide? <laughs> well, it is a little cramped. It's so narrow out there, I can only barbecue a few things. I'm getting tired of roast eel with a banana in his mouth. <laughs> I'll try to be a better neighbor from now on. While I'm here, there's something I want to ask you. What's that, Bob? Look, I'd like to have you appear on my radio show. Yeah, I guess I can make it. My agent will drop around with a contract for you to sign. Oh, look, we're neighbors, Bob. Do we need a contract for me to be on your show? Look, I learned a long time ago, never trust anybody. Well, okay, if that's the way you want it. Oh, by the way, coming in your front gate, I got quite a shock. Oh, yes, the front gate is electric. Why don't you go out the back gate? It's right over there. Oh, thanks. That's it. Now just reach in and lift the latch. Oh, 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 you are welcome. Bob, never trust anybody. Here's Maggie Whiting with Les Brown and the boys doing Where's Your Heart? Maggie, move in. Here's with a special guest from the studio audience, Bob Hope. Right in, honey. Bob. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are right. you? Just wonderful, honey. And you can uh, analyze my handwriting, huh? Yes, I've been doing it over 20 years. Is that right? I'm at the Mission Beach Amusement Center, right outside of San Diego there. Oh, is that true? Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful place, isn't it? I like it very, very Fine. much. Do you want me to write my name? Your name and your home My real name real or my, uh... Doesn't matter, really. Or my traveling name. <laughs> Might left way if you wish, I'm sure. Oh, now don't snitch. <laughs> they didn't know that, and you have to tell them. But now, do you really want my real name or my mm -hmm. theatrical name? It doesn't matter, really. You know, my, I, I work under the name of Key Luke, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, would you like a Bob Hope or a Robert Hope? Or I have, then I have my bank name. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm overdrawn. No, I'll just put down. Uh, I'll just put down. Uh, <clears throat> stuff here, and you can work it out yourself. Well, the way you make your L's indicates you're a rugged individualist. Keep moving. <laughs> and uh, your H's indicate... Uh, tell this girl knows what she's talking about. My what? You're kind of born tired. <laughs> Where is that on the paper? Your H's. <laughs> but your B's indicate you're a very generous person. Keep moving, Barbara. And you have a tendency to procrastinate a little too much. Yes, a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Wait, I want to run down and look that up. I'll be right back. Your ease indicate you have a tremendous amount of executive ability. Yeah, I guess so. Get me a cup of coffee. Don't stand there. And uh, the L's and the S's show you have boundless energy, enthusiasm. Oh. Would you make a capital M and a capital W with the I just there? love it. It'll help our association at all. Capital Y. Capital M or W. That's right. Thank you. You see the stroke here. That's my executive M. <laughs> the loop indicates <laughs> that uh, your person is very secretive. You very rarely take anyone into your confidence. That comes from working in the road pictures. 
<laughs> Barbara, I didn't mean to cut into your uh, handwriting or reading there. Is that, is that, is that Stuart? Oh, yes.